Good morning. Oops. There we go. No bouncing. I fixed my thing, my stand. I just did a whole video with a tarot reading and didn't press record. So we're going to redo that. <laughs> All right, so the tarot reading is pretty quick. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the phone. There we go, and I'm gonna show it to you. Like that. So that's what we got. Past, present, future. Seven of Earth, the garden. The fool, the one with no uh, number, zero. And the father, fire. Okay, so. Hopefully that wasn't too annoying. And what this reading comes around to say basically is that in the past, recent past, right? Uh, I think our last tarot was like either September, October, or maybe August. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the garden symbolizes um, a fullness of experience, a... Um, transformation through the cycles of life right and that's the path that I am on um, living life and being creative and generative and self-sustaining all of that but then the present moment is the fool card and the fool card I have a lot of affinity for the fool as a symbol I've always associated it with my father um, because I always thought that his life was really reminiscent of the archetypal hero uh, who's, he's the apprentice, he's the magician, but he's also the fool. He's all of those things, just like all of us really are all of those things, right? Um, and so how that applies to me right now in this present well, I do have things that are unresolved and I do have things that are uh, ongoing and I don't know the outcome. I'm going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> I have made a turn in my path. I've made a turn from away from academia towards something else, but I still have my goals and I still have my opinions and I still have my... I still have my 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 work, my intellectual work, and my artistry. So how is that going to be manifested? How am I gonna? What is happening? <coughs> I'm trying a lot of different things. I know that I'm painting a lot. I just uh, applied to be a member of an artist association in my area, and it's a juried. Um, submission so other artists will <coughs> sorry other artists will look at my work and then decide um, whether it merits a place among the association so I've got my fingers crossed I'm really hopeful I am attached to the outcome on that one but even if I don't get into that one, it doesn't mean that I stop. It just means whatever it meant, you know, like I just didn't work for whatever reason. But it's not a judgment necessarily on myself and my path in life, right? Um, so we'll have to just wait and see. And then the final card, the father, which is like the king in other um, tarot systems, uh, of fire. So that's what's coming. Lots of action, lots of leadership, lots of going your own way, maybe. A lot of energy. So that's something to be cautious of because energy, um, I can mismanage that pretty easily and wipe myself right out. So maybe taking that all together, it's something like your path has always been resilience and renewal. This situation right now is no different. I don't know the outcome, but how is that different? It's not. There's going to be 
a lot of energy outpouring, but such is life. I mean, that doesn't scare me. I'll just be careful not to overdo things and not to waste my energy in multiple different directions. That was the big thing with the PhD. It wasn't that I couldn't manage it, although I couldn't because of my mental health situation, which was really because of my whole life and the fact that I was not not self-sufficient emotionally i was dependent on the outcomes i was dependent on the grades i was dependent on the judgment of my peers and my colleagues and my supervisors and that's not a situation that i can tolerate for very long and the phd took too long even though I was within my time frame, it took too long for me. Um, I wanted to get in and out of there real fast because I knew I didn't have long with my health, you know. And so everything was just like life and death. Do it now and if it doesn't succeed, it'll never happen. It was very stressful. That's what I had difficulty managing. So I think I want to avoid that same mistake and with my art be more, more relaxed and confident. All right. So that was uh, Taro with me uh, on November 1st. And um, apparently, I just learned this, it's the first day of winter according to the Celtic tradition, <clears throat> which would make the solstice coming in December the midwinter festival which now suddenly makes sense all the songs that i used to sing that always said midwinter this and midwinter that around the solstice time and i was like but it's not midwinter it's just beginning what's going on <laughs> all right so here we are in winter uh according to the pagans and i think that's great because it's snowing <laughs> looking out the window it's snowing Bye now. I love you all.